Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at the JP Morgan Healthcare Conference and Biotech Showcase in San Francisco. And we're here with Joe DeVivo. He is CEO of Butterfly Network. Joe, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Brian. It's a pleasure to be here. So uh, Butterfly was one of the first companies to really come out with uh, handheld ultrasound, also known as point-of-care ultrasound. And you guys have really kind of revolutionized that field. Um, it's, it's really gone from being kind of a small little kind of curiosity to being something that's really important both for clinical care and for education. Can you talk a little bit about why point-of-care ultrasound has kind of evolved the way it has and what sort of clinical needs it's meeting? Well, I think we've seen what early diagnosis does anywhere in healthcare. And having to wait for an image, especially if it's in a trauma, emergency room, or any type of dynamic, to have the physician have the ability to be able to image immediately at the point of care, just like they would use a stethoscope or any other modality, um, is a way to give patients better care. We're also seeing, um, you know, in in the areas of struggle, you know, in Ukraine or in Israel and Gaza or or in third world countries where you need to have a device that can help do early diagnoses um, but be all like an all-inclusive device. Um, we've found that being where the patient is, is the best care. And I came from telehealth and telemedicine prior to this and helping rural sites deliver care um, is a very, very important part of healthcare and Butterfly is in that same vein. One of the things I remember during the, the COVID pandemic was so many people were using butterfly devices to diagnose people because they were you could bring them right to the patient. You didn't have to transport a sick patient or an infectious patient somewhere, and they were really a, a, a godsend to so many care providers. Yeah, and you know there was a, a huge uptake during that time to be able to provide that. And I've met so many doctors who walk around with their proudly with their butterfly today because it was there for them when, when they had that type of dynamic. And all of healthcare is looking to find ways to take care of patients in the home, get out of higher cost environments. Uh, and so whether it's now in an ambulance or whether it's in home care, there's this massive market opportunity for point of care ultrasound. Now, where does the company stand right now? You're, um, you, you've had a number of, uh, of different news uh, news items come out recently, the, the, the clearance of the new platform that we're going to talk about. Uh, you, you, you've launched an AI marketplace and you've got a, a deal with the surgical robotics company. What were some of the highlights that we saw from Butterfly in 2023? Well, what we realized was over the last four years, we've sold more devices than any other company, almost a lot of them combined. Um, and we have a very strong global platform and our customers want more. And so, in, is it really feasible for us to develop every AI application? Probably not. But we have the largest install base in the world of point-of-care ultrasound. So we decided to open up our platform and allow other uh, AI developers and software companies to put their software on our platform, and that's the guard. We've already had in the last you know, 120 days, <coughs> excuse me, over 15 different companies who are now signed in and we're seeing a couple a quarter come in. So that's a big deal. And then uh, Powered by Butterfly, which is allowing our chip technology to work with third party companies to help bring ultrasound uh, in a very novel way. Uh, by opening our platform, it monetizes our investment and it brings more valuable to our customers. That's a great idea. So you guys also got some good news from the FDA just on Thursday. We're Monday at JP Morgan. You, got, you found out just a couple days ago. Can you tell us a little bit about that clearance? Yeah, you know, one of the things about Butterfly is, is we, we have a, a semiconductor-based chip technology. So we, our, our semiconductor with our MEMS technology delivers our energy. And just like in digital imaging and, and digital photography, as processing power increases, so does your capability, so does your image quality. And as with Moore's Law, every two years, you can double your processing power. And so uh, our most, we have our third generation product, which is double the power, which is as good in imaging as any other device out there. 
with the same low price and with all the value that Butterfly brings. So really excited. And this is the, uh, the IQ3? It's the IQ3. It's our, it's our third generation platform. Very good. And so what are you talking about here at uh, JP Morgan? Oh, we, we're talking uh, to investors, of course. We're talking uh, partners who want to come into the garden, partners who want to develop you know, on our chip technology. This is just the greatest place to be. I get to meet, I've been in the market for 35 years, so I get to see a bunch of friends and we get to talk about all the things we could do together. That's great. And, and what can we look forward to from Butterfly in 2024? You know, uh, digital cameras overtook film. Butterfly and semiconductors will overtake crystals and piezo crystals. The next generation is miniaturizing the devices to have wearables so we can help manage patients remotely. And it's a bright, bright future. All right, something to look forward to. Joe, thanks for being with us. All right, thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Joseph DeVivo of Butterfly Net Network and signing off from JP Morgan Healthcare Conference and Biotech Showcase. My name is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire.